When it comes to power gains, many people ask us why we decide to quote in percentages as opposed to raw power figures. Well, the answer is quite simple. As there are many variables when it comes to obtaining a final power figure, we decided to go with a method that's consistent and repeatable. So regardless of where you're located, the weather, what dynamometer you're using, tire pressure, how the car is strapped down to the dyno, or whether you're measuring power at the crank or at the wheel, you should see an increase that's in line with what we saw, even if the final numbers are different. To prove that point, we did three pulls back to back to back. The top three were in stock form, with the bottom three being tuned with our big SF intake installed. No other changes were made in between pulls. Even with that, you can see that the power figures for each individual pull were different. So if we wanted to quote raw power figures, we could take the lowest stock figure and compare that with the highest modified value in an effort to muddle the true data. Instead, we average the three pulls together and determine how much of a percentage gain that we'll see after tuning. So with all things being equal, and with a healthy car, you should be able to replicate these results yourself. We hope this gives you some insight as to how we gather the power figures that we claim, but if you have any other questions or concerns, please feel free to give us a call at 866-922-3059 or email us at support at cobtuning.com.